Welcome back to the morning show. It's time for Wise Guys and Wise Gals Wednesday. Yeah, we have a wise gal this morning. You yep. may have seen turtles out of their shell in the cartoons, but in reality, the turtle can't leave its shell behind. Absolutely not. Today, we're learning more about box turtles and how you can see one with Pam Leiter, who manages the Homer Lake Interpretive Center at Homer Lake Forest Preserve. Thank you for joining us today, Pam. Tell us about this guy that you got with us. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Good morning. This is the box turtle that we have that lives at the Homer Lake Interpretive Center. And the kids will know that a box turtle is a reptile, which means they're, they're cold blooded. They get their heat from the environment around them. They can't make their own heat um, like we can. So he's got a lot of really cool things about him. He has claws right here. You can kind of see, and he's being a little shy this morning. I'm not sure he was a little <laughs> more active earlier, but uh, he's got claws. He has scales. He's got this really cool shell. Oh, oh there, there he goes. goes. Now you can see him <laughs> moving around. <laughs> so Pam, what is, what yeah. does the box turtle eat? Yeah, so yeah, check out this little video he, we've got going. He likes to eat fruit, vegetables, you know, a lot like we do. Fruit, vegetables, and protein of all different kinds. Um, so he's an omnivore, kind of like humans are. We eat just about anything, um, and that's what he eats. And right here, he's got some tomatoes, some green beans, some little turtle pellets in that video that you can see. Oh. So, um, <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, he's healthier than I am. <laughs> Just from Finding Nemo, I have to ask, how long do these guys typically live for? Oh, they live for a really, really long time. In captivity, they can live 30 or 40 years easily. So they are a long-term commitment. But if you do happen to come across one, you should not try to have one of those guys as a pet. That's for sure. Yeah, if you find any wild box turtles outside, just uh, enjoy them and then let them go their way. Please don't take them home because box turtles, they're becoming a lot less common out in the wild. We want to make sure we keep the wild populations going well. So if you see one, just watch him, maybe take a picture and then just let them go on their way. And can you tell us a little bit more about the Nature Preserve Center if people want to come out and check that out? Um, due to COVID-19 restrictions, is anything different out there that people can maybe see you guys online possibly? Yeah, for sure. We've been doing a lot of really cool videos online on our Facebook page and also the Forest Preserve District has a YouTube video. So there's videos there for kids, for adults, for just about anything you want to learn. Um, check that out and you can come visit the Homer Lake Interpretive Center. We're open at limited hours right now, Tuesdays through Friday, 1 to 5 p.m. Come visit us. You can see the turtle in person there and the other animals that we have here. We just ask that you wear a mask when you're in the building. And this is great, a great thing to, uh, a great place to bring the kids. Yes, absolutely. There's lots of stuff here to do with the kids. They love to see the animals and interact with the exhibits. And then you can go and visit the natural playscape here at Homer Lake afterwards and play play there on the logs and boulders and in the, in the stream there. It's one of the favorite spots for families here at Homer Lake Forest Preserve. Can you give us a little perspective when it comes to the turtle shell, how strong they are, what it can withstand? Yeah, they are really, really strong. Um, they're, they're the main protection for, for the turtle. And this guy, when he gets scared, he'll pull all of his feet and his head way back inside, and then his <laughs> shell will actually close up. Okay. And um, yeah, here's a photo of the inside of a box turtle shell. You see that line right down the middle? That's why we said at the beginning that turtles, they can't get out of their shell like the cartoon ones can. Um, because that line right down the middle is his backbone. And kids, if you could find your backbone, that's like the same thing. Only his backbone is attached to his shell. So he can't, he can't leave and come back inside. So Pam, what's it like for you when you see the kids come in and they just get so excited? Wow, it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, I'm a, a kid at heart as well. So I am usually as enthused as they are and we, we kind of feed off of each other it's kind of one of the main reasons why i got into this job is because they find it exciting and i find it exciting that they're being excited and it's just a lot of fun very nice if kiddos are out in central illinois right now and they happen to come across a smaller turtle is there um, any recommendations that you would have to be like oh well that turtle's okay or maybe they should possibly stay away from certain types 
most turtles are okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't go up and try to touch them or pick them up or anything because they might be scared and they might try to defend themselves. So it's usually good to just leave some distance and watch them. And they'll usually, um, you know, if it's a turtle on a log or something, one of the aquatic turtles, they'll usually just jump in the water right away. But if it's on land, just give it some distance and watch it. Um, and don't try to, t to pick it up or anything like that, just to keep you safe and the turtle safe. And families, if you decide to go out, uh, go out to Homer Lake, uh, don't forget to bring your mask with you. Yes, we have some extra ones if you do forget or if you leave it in your car and you walk down the trail and come. So we have some extras. All right. Thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate you. Yeah, good to be here. Good to see you guys. You too. Have a great Wednesday. Adam has your forecast next. We'll be right back.